Welcome to another episode of Evolution Quickies. If you want to see the Montreal Electric Car Show and what cars are here and pickup trucks, stick around. I'll show you in two seconds. We'll start at the GMC booth and you'll see in the background they have the electric Hummer. We'll go have a quick look at that. And hidden behind the panel, you could see the Cadillac Lyric. So we'll also take a quick look at that. The Cadillac Lyric is a very nice looking vehicle and has its own design styling. The headlights are pretty amazing. I'll show you the little startup sequence very shortly. One of the things I found very interesting is that the design cues on the inside are very similar to that of the EV6. Now, I don't know if the EV6 was inspired by Cadillac or if Cadillac was inspired by Kia, but the resemblance of some of the styling cues is pretty surprising. And here's the startup sequence of the headlights. It's actually pretty cool to see. Now the electric car show wouldn't be an electric car show without GMC's electric Hummer. Now the electric Hummer is an impressive vehicle to see, but the problem that I have isn't the fact that it weighs 9,000 pounds and it's the size of two normal vehicles. The problem that I have is the 110 kilowatt hour battery pack that powers this thing. Now you could take that battery pack and split it into three to power three Nissan Leafs. It's not going to help the environment very much. Not very far from the GM booth is the Ford booth and they brought the F-150 Lightning which is very fortunate because it is very popular. Today when all the people start to arrive it is going to be swamped much like every other vehicle that people are interested in. And we've got the Toyota booth and yes they did bring the BZ4X. Now I'm not entirely sure about the front of this car with the giant plastic panels because just from being here I don't know if you can see it that is pretty messed up but at least they're here with an electric vehicle now even though this is exactly like the car that I just received I cannot stop at the show without showing the Kia booth and the awesome EV6 as you've seen in my last two videos and we'll walk over to the Polestar booth now unfortunately it is a little bit soon to see the Polestar 3 there's no way that's gonna be anywhere near here but they do have a Polestar 1. They do also have the Polestar 2. Now the Polestar 2 that they brought is the performance pack version, which I imagine also has the Pilot and the Plus pack. Now much like Toyota, Subaru has the Solterra behind me and it is essentially the same vehicle. So if you're interested in seeing the Subaru, there it is. Now this is a prototype vehicle, so some of the materials and the finish of the car are not exactly as they will be in production, but this gives you a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. Now we'll walk over to the Volvo booth and have a look at the XC40 recharge that they've got. Here we have the C40. And we've also got the XC40. And we've got the BMW and Smart booth behind us and we're fortunate to have the BMW iX in the test drives at the Quebec Electric Vehicle Association. So if that's a vehicle you were interested in test driving, it is in the list. When I was looking at the iX, I noticed that the door handle had a piece of plastic trim popped out and I had asked about it and it seems that the manual key lock is hidden behind this little panel. As I mentioned earlier, the Quebec Electric Vehicle Association has a tent where you can register to test drive an electric car. Now, there is a wide variety of electric cars here on site for you to try from volunteers like myself as well as many manufacturers. And I'll put some b-roll of a ton of cars that are here for you to test drive. The only problem is that there are so many people that you had to show up early and register because some of the waits were several hours. Something that doesn't get old as a volunteer for the Quebec Electric Vehicle Association is entering the Olympic Stadium with your personal car. This is definitely one of the highlights of the event for me. Yes, seeing electric cars that are there like the Hummer and the Lyric and the Lightning are very interesting, but you have to admit, this is pretty cool.
One of the nice things about the Montreal EV show is that it isn't all related to electric cars and trucks. There's something here for everybody, from things related to camping, all the way to electric bicycles, scooters, charging stations, electric golf carts, and even wheels for your electric car. One vehicle I was a little surprised to see was the Ford cargo van that's converted to electric, the Ford E-Transit. Much like with the last electric auto show here in Montreal, as well as the one in Quebec, Imperium is here with the SEV. Now the main difference is that this SEV is a North American version. I don't know if it's pre-production, I have to go speak to the people over there, but it is also available in test drives at the AVEQ booth, but reservations filled up quickly, so if you're the one of the few that got to try it, well, count yourself very lucky. And I can't not stop at the Secret Electric booth because they have by far one of the best charging networks in the country. They have a ton of charging stations, both DC fast charging and level two, with a very high rate of maintenance. It's rare to find a charging station that is non-functional from Secret Electric. And if you do, they're easy to contact and someone will repair it very quickly. If you've been wondering about the Evolution t-shirt that I've been wearing throughout this video, it is available for purchase on my website. I've got them in three different colors, black like this. I've also got some heather gray t-shirts and navy blue as well. They are available in a variety of sizes and I'll have a link for that in the description below as well as some social media links that may be of interest to you. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel because I'm now over 11,000 subscribers and that is amazing. I really appreciate the support from the community. You people are amazing. I also wanted to say if you liked this video then I would really appreciate if you could click on that subscribe button because I would like to hit 15,000 subscribers. It's my next personal goal. And if you like this video, please click on that thumbs up button because YouTube likes content that has a lot of likes. If you have any questions or comments about some of the vehicles that we saw in this video, then please put them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. So we'll go have a quick look at that. And they also have something a little bit to the left of it, or the right, I can't tell, reverse camera. Oh. And it is a very popular vehicle that you can... Uh, <laughs> Now, if you are interested in trying this car, it is actually in the electric vehicle. Quebec Electric Vehicle Association. As I mentioned earlier, the Quebec vehicle. As I mentioned earlier, the Quebec vehicle. Test drives of a variety of electric cars, many of them provided by Benevol volunteers. Register at the AVEQ tent. The <laughs> they are by far the best charging set well charging network company and i can't not stop at the circuit electric charging boot and they're available on my site that i'll link in the description below and i'll put some social